Right now, time is running out to find a missing submarine that was taking passengers on a tour to see the wreckage of the Titanic. NBC's Tom Costello has the latest from Boston. In the cold North Atlantic and all hands on deck search and rescue operation looking for any signs of a small private submersible and the five people on board missing since Sunday after going to explore the Titanic wreckage. It is uh, a challenge to conduct a uh, search in that remote area, but we are deploying all available assets. It's a 21 foot submersible named Titan made of titanium and carbon fiber owned by Ocean Gate. A private company that charters tours costing as much as $250,000. Among the paying passengers, billionaire Hamish Harding, whose previous adventures included a submersible dive to the Mariana Trench and a space flight on Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin. On Instagram Sunday, he signed his name on the logo as he announced he'd be diving to the Titanic. Also on board, Pakistani British businessman Shazada Dawood, along with his son Suleiman, according to his company. Overnight, OceanGate released a new statement. Our entire focus is on the well-being of the crew and every step possible is being taken to bring the five crew members back safely. Last year, the company's founder and CEO discussed the ongoing fascination with the Titanic on Seattle's King 5 TV. We have yeah. a number of people who come with us, we sometimes referred to as Titaniacs, um, people who have <laughs> just been consumed by the, by the Titanic, and it was just great to take them down. Among the search efforts, U.S. and Canadian C-130s conducting visual and radar aerial searches and dropping sonar buoys in the water listening for the sub. When something happens on the high seas, it gets complicated uh, quickly because of winds, oceans, drift, all that stuff. Considered the world's most famous shipwreck, the Titanic rests at a treacherous depth of two and a half miles. 1,500 people died when the ship sank in 1912. In recent years, other tourist submersibles have tried exploring the wreckage. Now search teams are in a race against the clock for this missing sub, oxygen potentially running low.